Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Hey guys, so it's time for another hair tutorial. So this one is uh, hair sent to me by Get It Girl Hair. They did send me their Mink Brazilian Virgin Loose Wave Hair in three bundles of 22, 22, 20. And I do believe the lace frontal is 18 inches. This is actually a black owned USA based wholesale company. Their Brazilian hair starts at $28 and their Mink Brazilian starts at $35. They do sell to the public so you actually don't have to have a business. It's no min minimum purchase you can actually buy for yourself or you can buy to start a business or if you already had one so prior to this video I've already went ahead and bleached the knots on this frontal it actually lifted really well and I like the way it came out and I also tweezed the hairline like girl I went in and tweezed this hairline wait till y'all see this so right now what I'm doing is I'm just separating the hair because I am about to bleach it as you guys see I'm just using a 50 developer along with the salon pro um bleaching in the blue okay so this is what I like to do when I'm ready to bleach the hair depending on what I'm doing because I'm not really trying to bleach the entire hair only certain sections so the sections that I'm going to be bleaching I'm just braiding them up and I'm leaving the ends out that I want to bleach out so the part that's braided is actually the part where I want to leave black and I'm kind of trying to give it not really an ombre but I just want a certain part brown and that's about it just like a certain part brown of this unit the hair is actually really really nice it's long it's very pretty I love the way the hairline looked it was almost more more or less natural hairline but you know you want to customize it to your liking now yes you guys I did use a sandwich baggie for this wig so or for these bundles because I just rather use plastic plastic bags versus um, aluminum foil because it just makes the whole entire process easier plus it doesn't like over process and also because it's 50 developer I don't really want it on too long so you guys that was the end of that this is how it came out I did tone it and I actually did put some hair dye box hair dye in it also just to make it a little bit lighter and prior to that I'm gonna go ahead and clean my hairline and I'm just using witch hazel I'm not gonna use like 90 proof uh, rubbing alcohol you don't really need to use all of that it just dries your skin up you know as long as you get any type of dirt or makeup off of your face where you're going to be gluing down your lace front then that's fine so I just like to use some witch hazel because that just cleans it up perfectly you can use a baby wipe or whatever so now I'm gonna go ahead and brush my own hairs out of the way you guys know I'm trying to save my edges okay so I don't want them anywhere near the wig like for real I don't want them anywhere near the glue. So this is the wig cap that I'm going to be using. It's more or less a nude color. It's almost close to my scalp, but you know, it is what it is. Now let me tell y'all about this wig. Okay, first of all, I actually went ahead and measured it to my circumference, so I did cut off the ends a little bit prior to making the wig. Please tell me why I made it just fitting, like seriously. Like if I had thicker hair, girl, this would not even fit. So it fits snug, like snug as heck. I didn't even need to glue this down if I didn't want to. That's how just fitting it is. But it came out really nice, like, you know what I'm saying? I like the way the hairline looks. It took me like an hour to tweeze it, but you know, practice makes perfect, take your time. And if you're getting a little bit overwhelmed, just put it down and go back to it. Now this is the part where you gotta take your time. Some people like to cut their lace on their actual head. Me, I really don't prefer to do that. I actually cut it off camera and I won't put it on but for the sake of this video I just felt like you know what I just wanted to match it up perfectly with my hairline so that's the reason so now it is time to get this wig cap in order and just to hold the wig cap in place I'm gonna go back to my handy dandy favorite old school super hold extreme hold pump it up and I'm just going to blow dry it on cool for just a couple minutes because it doesn't take long y'all like for real 
It don't take long. Now, this is the glue that I'm going to be using today, which is the Ghost Bond. Sometimes I use Aqua Bond. I'm also going to be using Walker Tape uh, Skin Protectant. The Walker Tape actually does protect your skin. It also is a barrier for the glue to make the glue stick a lot longer to your actual skin. So it protects you from sweat. Your wig can stay on with sweat, or you can also use it with tape. Now, actually, here is the part where, you know, take your time. Please don't cut yourself when you are cutting off the wig cap because the area that you want to cut off is actually the ending piece. Now, I'm going to kind of like hold the ends down on this wig cap, you know, where the fraying part is at. I want it to just be really, really flat. So I'm going to go ahead in with that got to be gel. Okay, got to be, got to be using this. And I like to use the clear one better because it just gets less flaky. It really does say it does, it's non flaky, but that's a lie. Okay, honey, please, child. It gets flaky too, trust me when I tell you. But this is not to glue the wig down, it's actually just to hold down the wig cap because. You know, I really don't want the glue next to my hairline at all. I don't want it near my edges, actually. I just don't. And I'd rather have the gel near my hairlines versus the glue because the glue is heck hell to get out. And the gel is just super easy to get out. You just, you know, spray a little water and it's off your hair. But the glue, mmm. Child. So when I do my wigs, I actually do put them down a little bit further past my hairline, like a little bit further. You know, I got enough forehead, okay, so I got enough forehead to make me a new hairline. So you want to make sure that this is dry, so I'm just going to go ahead and dry it up with this blow dryer. And it does take like five minutes, sometimes longer, depending on how much you put on. Um, I think like the clear one dries much faster than the white because I have the white too, and girl, seem like it take forever. So I just rather use the clear. Like I said, it just it doesn't get as flaky. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and press down on the sides with my rat tail comb because I want this wig cap to stick. And I know I do have gel just like all over my forehead or my hairline surpassing the actual wig cap, but we're gonna take care of that right now. And we're gonna go back to that little bit of witch hazel that was left on the cotton swab and just clean it up real quick. Now I just wanna make it look a little bit more like me, you know, a little bit more fleshy-like. I'm just gonna do the ends of the actual cap. You don't have to do the entire cap, that's your preference. I'm not gonna do that because it actually does more mimic my scalp than other wig caps, but you know, Sometimes you got to customize to your liking, like customization is always the key. But for real though, they do have some really nice hair at Get, uh, get It Girl Hair. I really want to call it Get It Curl, but you know, it's Get It Girl. Now this part right here is where I'm actually going to be outlining where I want the glue to be. Sometimes we go a little bit past where we need to with the glue, so this is just great to have yourself like an outline of where you want to put the glue. And actually you won't see the brown lines because the glue will cover it and it'll kind of like disappear, you know, and it is makeup. But prior to that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of this walker tape, you know, so that way I know where to put it and it dries. Like I said, it takes like a minute for this stuff to dry. You want to let it dry for like a minute or two. You don't have to put a lot. It just dries. It doesn't have to be tacky. It'll just dry. And like I said, it's just a barrier for your skin. It's a skin protectant and so forth. So now, as you guys see, this is the glue, which is Ghost Bond. Normally, I use Aqua Bond, um, but you know what? Ghost Bond, Aqua Bond, Extreme Bond, they're actually all the same thing. They're just different packages, but they're all the exact same glue. I've had all of them. The only ones that I don't like to use is the Beauty Supply Store Clear Wig Lace Hold Glue. I hate the clear ones because they never stick regardless of what you do, so I prefer the white glue. It does dry clear after a while, but you do have to give it time. And just make sure that you know you're being very mindful with it. You don't need a whole lot to glop on it because you do want to put two layers on. So this is just actually the first layer that I'm going to be spreading on. And I prefer to use like a makeup brush. I just keep a certain amount of certain amount of makeup brushes for my wig application. You know, it's hard to get the glue off the brush when you want to wash it off. So I don't even bother washing them off. Just leave them and you know, they act like, <laughs> I guess they act like a spatula after a while. Now that that portion is dry, this takes less time to dry than it actually got to be. I'm going to go on with the second layer because the more layers, the better it sticks. Sometimes I like to do two layers and then I put on some super tape. 
girl if i put on the super tape too the wig ain't going nowhere but for today we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just do two layers of glue because i mean that should do you know what i mean you want to make sure that there's no hairs in the way none of your baby hairs so you clip them back get them back as far as possible hairspray them back if you have to just make sure that they're not in the way of the glue and the blow dryer because you don't want to see them sticking like you see here which i am picking a couple out which is fine you know but you just don't want a whole bunch of them so try to keep your hand in the position of like mine so that way none of the glue or the hair, excuse me, flies into your actual glue. Now here's the fun part, the wig application. So like I said, this Dagon thing just fits, which is fine. So I gotta tug at it a little bit more than normal. You know, I actually just saw an elastic band in the back, but I had to take it out, y'all, because I didn't even need it. Okay, so all I have is like two combs in the back because I do like it to be, um, you know, secure in the back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down. You wanna make sure that your hands and fingers are not in the way of this glue because they get really, really sticky. So every opportunity that you get, especially when you're using the glue or the gel, make sure that you kinda like clean your fingertips off because like I said, it gets really, really sticky. And then once it's sticky on your skin, you want to try to get it off as best as possible. So use like rubbing alcohol for your fingertips because that will get out the glue as best but also using a rat tail cone to just press it down is also like really really easy now it does look like the glue is white but it has yet to dry um, like I said it does dry clear it will over time um, just dry clear or just disappear basically but as you guys see I'm gonna just pick a little bit off of those edges because I just really don't want any of the glue um, in my hair or on my skin, but I do um, clean it up with like some witch hazel or I just kind of like peel it off with like a tweezer So that way I know it's off because I kind of get a little bit scared when I'm using like rubbing alcohol or Witch hazel after I've applied the wig because I don't want any of it to get in a wig and then it's like oh great now The edges and popped up so I'm nonetheless take it in and just peel it off So this is the part where I just want to make sure it's really secure and I want to make sure that it dries clear honey I'm just gonna take the blow dryer, you know an extra step it never hurts But I like to put the rat tail comb behind the hair so that way none of my baby hairs get stuck in the wind or not the wind But you know what I'm saying the actual blow dryer and stuff but I'm saying look at the hairline girl look at that hairline baby I'm saying like look did I do a good job or what like for real I told you guys before that I I have scalped and balded enough daggone lace frontals trying to pre-tweeze the hairlines and stuff like for real I don't even want to talk about how bad I have scalped some of them and and so forth like you would just be amazed and y'all would probably be like you April but yes me April I have scalped it and balded some hairlines on some wigs so bad that it was just like oh god I don't even want to wear it okay but so I guess you know over time you done scalped it enough that you feel like hey let me just watch a few videos okay and let me just take my time I know that it says it takes like an hour maybe it'll take me like two but you know I'm gonna take my time and that way I don't have to scalp anything but I actually do like the hair like for real it's really really cute like the knots were bleached right on time honeys like I did a really good job with that I'm so happy and proud of myself like if I could just pat myself on the back I definitely would okay and toot my own horn toot 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 I'm just saying like I like the way the color came out but I'm just so 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 happy about the hairline like you really don't know how hard I've worked on this unit and the only downfall about it was that it just fit like what if my head gets too big like my head swells up like you know what I'm saying then um what am I supposed to do or what if I get more hair like my hair grows out like what am I supposed to do I am going to figure out a way to wear this wig because listen hunties when I do something that I really really am happy with I try to hold on it to it for dear life okay so yes now we gotta do some baby hairs like sometimes I feel like you know I cut them too long and then if I cut them too short it's like girl where's the baby hairs at and I told you guys on numerous video videos me and the baby hairs we just don't see eye to eye like um yeah I'm really not like a huge fan of theirs and I know that they're definitely not a huge fan of mine so we just try to perfect them as best as possible listen off camera to be honest like don't tell nobody but off camera it took me a minute to get these baby hairs laid right for this wig. Like, if you 
could only imagine if I didn't edit this video, y'all have been like, girl, it took you that long. I'm surprised my skin is not irritated from as much brushing that I did. Okay. So that's why editing is good because you guys never know, but you know, you know now because I didn't ran my mouth. But anyway, so I did put some styling mousse in the wig and I'm going to spray some of my hairspray on the brush because I'm really trying to play with these baby hairs. I'm not really trying to get them in any perfect way because I don't really like, listen, they're called baby hairs for a reason. I don't like them to look perfectly styled because they're not supposed to. I just kind of like them to look wispy and honestly, I don't even like them pasted on my head. Like baby hairs are not supposed to be gelled down for the life of you, like seriously. So I just really try not to have mine gelled down too much. And if it is gelled down, girl, I am picking it up off the forehead and actually combing the gel or the hairspray out. Like I really don't like mine like that. So I mean, to each his own, everybody has their own preference. So being that at the time I didn't have a hot comb to, you know, kind of like straighten my hair out, I just used my, you know, Irresistible Me 8-in-1 Interchangeable Curling Wand System. This is actually the biggest barrel in the system and I actually do love it so much that, listen, I will carry it to my grave. Like seriously, I will. So it does work, you know, this is the part where we call it melting the lace, honeys. Like look at the hairline, look at me. I'm like even impressed. Like. Does that look natural or what? And besides that, my baby hairs are just like perfect, you know, yeah. They're not like really pasted down and stuff like that. They're just like baby hairs, like little flyaway wispy hairs, like, you know, looking like they're on fleek, ready to just like show off for the world and say, hey girl, look at me, like look, look at me. As you guys see, I told you guys, I don't like my baby hairs to be gelled down to my face. That's why I'm lifting them up. Like, pick them up, girl. Pick those baby hairs up. There you go. Pick them up. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So, as I said, the hair is really, really pretty. I like it. Came out nice. It lifts so well. I did use 50 Developer. Girl, honey child, I like the 50 Developer. And I like this wig. Like, whoop, whoop. Now, I'm going to show you guys how good the ends or the sides look. The hairline is looking definitely on fleek. I mean, I'm saying you could pull this bad boy up in a ponytail if you want and wear her out. Like, come through, Lace Frontal. Come through. And besides that, the hair is really good quality. They are some really, really nice people at Get It Girl Hair. Like, honestly, I was able to speak to them on the phone. Really, really nice company. They've been around for some time. So this is not like something that's overnight. They have actually been around for quite some time, okay? And it's always nice to have a black-owned business who does wholesale. So girls, if you want some hair hunties, make sure you check them out. They always got some really, really good sales and prices. Plus, you know, like I said, you don't have to have like a minimum purchase. You can always just buy just to make yourself a sew-in or a wig or whatever. You don't have to buy a bunch. So I guess it's time to style this bad boy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and about that, um, what do you call that? Those hot combs. I actually went to Walmart and got me a nice hot comb for 20 bucks. But in the meantime, in between time, we're going to just use this Irresistible Me Curling Wand System. And we're going to curl it up and make it look really, really cute. So that way, at the end of this video, you'll see me taking some selfies and just smiling and just selfieing it up for the camera. Um, this part is really not that much fun, so, you know, I'll just leave the rest to you guys. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as always. And let's get on to the best part, girl, okay? Like I'm saying, look at the finished look. Like, yes, hunties. Did it come out nice or what? But you know what? Enough of my rambling. Make sure you check out the link below. All of the information will be provided for you guys. It's Get It Girl Hair. And this is the Brazilian Mink Loose Wave, honey. You guys know what I said about that mink hair, honeys. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. Bye. You can't believe in love and all that is.